I'm now 84 years of age and uh, never ever thought I would still be doing any butchering at, at this age. So I started my butchering at Red Tar in 1950. I only work now at Mount Noman Farm, interacting with a lot of people coming and going on the farm. It's a lovely aspect up here. I did work in one shop for 43 years. Well, I've still got all my fingers, fortunately. My daughter gave me a uh, fridge magnet a few years ago with two butchers meeting in the street, touching hands and saying, give me three. <laughs> so... Hey, Neville. How are you, mate? Oh, hello, hello. Hello. Is he dying, huh? No. I love dogs and they love me for the simple reasons they get very well fed. In the 90s, in the Upper Burnie Butchery, I think I was probably one of the last ones to still have sawdust on the floor. Stop slipping and sliding on meat juices and fat. Little kids coming in, I ended up serving them and probably the, the next three generations. And all the little ones, of course, they would get their slice of German or a little cocktail sausage. And I remember one little chap, there was quite a few in the shop at the time, and in the finish, he said, Mr. Parker, I'm still into German, you know. <laughs> yes, I am a great tea drinker. I don't drink a lot of tea, but I thoroughly enjoy each one I have. And yeah, that only average my half a dozen cups of tea a day. I worked at a few shops with Neville, and uh, he's good to talk to and a good listener. <laughs> if you don't know, he'll make it up. <laughs> Never crabby. If he is, he gets over it pretty quick. Cup of tea time? That's it, you've got it. <laughs> yeah. All else well. Oh, we talk about everything, don't we, Neville? Yep. Gardening, his old stomping ground down the west. And we talk all... about things that we can't talk about, really. <laughs> Girls! <laughs> Early days at Red Park in the summertime, and you had a roast beef that had to be half cooked, put into a meat safe outside. The coolest place was between the tanks and the house. Sunday, you'd finish it off. People bought bigger roasts of meat in those days, and probably cold meat two or three nights a week. Well, my favourite steak is a T bone steak, corned beef. I love corned beef. Looks like I might have to cut another piece of meat for the dog, or he'll never go back to his owner. Have you ever tried vegetarianism? What's that? <laughs> That's a nasty word, that one. <laughs> no, but I have got three daughters, and the eldest daughter and my youngest daughter are practically vegetarian. In fact, my eldest daughter is, which is not a real good advertisement, really, for a butcher, but... You want this dog? <laughs> It's easily distracted. <laughs>